Hey guys, it's Tashayla. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come to y'all today with a budget-friendly makeup haul. I've been buying some makeup from Amazon, Walmart, Walgreens, and I picked up some samples from Sephora. So I wanted to come to you guys and let you know what I bought. And I have a whole lot of products here, so stay tuned. Um, it may be quite a long video, but I'll try to shorten it up. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to start off with some palettes that I got. And these palettes I got from the beauty supply store. Um, I picked up like palettes, lip liners, and stuff like that from the beauty supply store. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with this Beauty Treats Concealer Palette. And the main reason why I got this palette was because of the orange color in here. Um, I've been wanting to get the Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. But I just didn't feel like ordering anything online. And... I just needed something right then, so I got it. Um, haven't really tried the other colors, but as far as the peach consistency, it's okay. It's not as thick as I would like, but it'll do for, I mean, I don't need a whole bunch of concealer or anything, so I like it. The next one is the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette, and this palette has gotten a little dusty, I want to say, because it's been at the bottom of my makeup bag. I haven't really cared for it that much, um, and I'll tell you why later. I have some pressed powders that I like better, but it does um, offer a wide variety of shades. I got the colors medium deep, and this was only $7.99. My favorite color in this palette is the highlight color, and it goes really good with my skin tone, and I use it on the apples of my cheeks. I have some more palettes that I got off Amazon. One of them I got at Walmart and that's the Black Radiance Eye Appeal Shadow Collection in the colors Downtown Brown. And it's like a purpley, smoky palette. Um, I haven't really found a way to make it work with me and that's probably because I don't use eyeshadows that much. But I wanted to get some cheap eyeshadows that I could work with. Um, with that being said, I got the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection Center Sage Eyeshadow in, I want to say this is Desert Festival, and it's, it's really cute. I really like the colors. It has matte shades and shimmery shades, so I uh, can't wait to try it. I might be trying it for Valentine's Day, so I'll let y'all know. I also have the NYC Individualized in Midtown Mauve. And I really like this palette because it comes with um, illum an illuminator and a primer. And I have tried the primer and it works pretty good. I used it yesterday for my eye look, but I, I had the same makeup on that I had on yesterday. And I tried to film, but I just wasn't in a good mood to film yesterday. So, um, sun was going down and it was just a hot mess. But I did use the NYC Union Square palette in cahoots with that palette yesterday because this one has some matte shades. I really like that matte brown shade. Um, and yeah, I accidentally used the illuminator as a primer and it looked terrible so I had to start all over and that really set me off as far as being in a bad mood because I just hate making it, messing up my makeup. So, um... I did like these palettes and both of these palettes, no, I would say all of these palettes that I got from the drugstore were under $5 as far as eyeshadow. Um, now let's go into the eyes. I got a e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the color Coffee, I think. And I use this cream eyeliner with the angle eyeliner brush when I'm trying to do like a dramatic eyebrow look. Um... I got three eyeliners from, I got four eyeliners from Clean Color. Um, one is in the color Golden Nugget, and I use that like in my inner tear duct today. I also got dark brown for eyebrows, medium brown for my lip, and black for my waterline. And I've been using them for the past three days, and I have been liking them. Um, they were pretty cheap, maybe $1.99 if that. And I lined my lips today with the medium brown lip liner, and I like it. And I also use the medium brown for my eyebrows. I haven't used a dark brown because I feel like the medium brown is, is dark enough for me. Um, but maybe when I use the e.l.f. cream 
gel liner, I can do the outline of my eyebrows and then fill it in with the dark brown. So I also picked up one of my oldie but goodie favorites, the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volumizing Waterproof Mascara. Um, I just love this mascara. I was using it back in my younger days when I was cheerleading. But it has a super, a super thick tip and it's very, very dark black. And it was about five bucks. I think I had a coupon for it at Walgreens. So I didn't even pay five dollars for it. I did get some stuff from ColourPop. Y'all know I love ColourPop. If y'all don't know, now you know. Um, I got seven lipsticks and a Super Shop Cheek Pearlized highlighter in the color lunch money and I've been hearing so many good things about these super shock cheek pearlized finishes kind of that they were like a dupe for like Becca and maybe I think they said a Bobbi Brown highlighter or something like that so I just tried it out it was only eight bucks and I'm wearing it today in the middle of my nose and on the apples of my cheeks on my chin and on my cupid's bow and I like it because it's not super bright, like it's, it gives you that natural finish. Um, now onto the lips. Well, I've already had two ColourPop lipsticks, but I wanted to save them for this haul so, so you guys can see. The first ones that I had were Limbo, which I had in my last video, and More Better. And I'll leave a swatch of these so that you can, you guys can kind of see what they look like against my skin tone. Um, today, I have on the color Teeny Weeny. And it's just like a pinky nude. I did have to pick up Stingray. Um, I love It's My Ray Ray and her channel, so I wanted to support her and go grab Stingray. It does look really good on me. Um, I also picked up the color Avenue. A lot of people have been raving about this color. It's just like a matte red, but it hasn't really grown on me. Maybe I need to wear a liner to darken it up or something, but it's just a little bit too light for me. I just like more better, better. So, um, I also got Tool. So I had Tool before and I lost it, but I loved it so much. It was like one of my favorites. So I reordered it and I still love it. The color Lax is super dark. It's so sexy, vampy, and fall. Um, I was going to wear it in this video, but I'm going somewhere later, and it's a, like a kid's birthday party, so I didn't want to wear like this super dark lip and get all this attention. So I, I just went nude, but um, if you want to make a statement, Lax is where you want to go. Yeah, moving on to face products, I got a black, two black radiance pressed powders that I was telling you I was going to mention before in this video. Um, that face powder palette, it was all good and everything, but once I got a hold of these two black radiance products for setting my face and contouring, I fell in love. So the first color that I used for my contour, and I'll use it today, um, is Ebony, and it comes with a cute little mirror at the top, and as you guys can see, I've already used it quite a bit, um, and also I have Bronze Glow. Now, I watched a YouTube video, I'm not sure whose it was, yeah, I'm not sure whose it was, but somebody was telling me Bronze Glow is like a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, or Deep Dark, yeah, it's it's a dupe for dark in mineralized skin finish and that used to be like one of my favorites. I'm not going to quite say that it's a dupe for the mineralized skin finish but it does give your skin a nice natural glow. Um, I kind of think it's a little too light for me. I know that as it gets hotter outside I'm going to have to change it out anyway maybe to like an under eye setting powder but I like it. Like Radiance you did that. I got a BB cream. And I'm wearing it today. Um, I got the color Cafe. And shout out to Rose Kimberly for letting me know about this BB cream. Um, it's a light to medium coverage. But it is buildable. I'm not going to say you can get a full coverage off of it unless you want to use the whole bottle. But um, it gives you that nice, fresh, I don't have a whole lot of makeup on feel. And it's the Black Radiance True 
um, complexion BB cream and it also has SPF 15 in it so I do like that because I'm running out of sunscreen I need to get some more Mary Kay sunscreen so I've been using this and I love it okay I also got this elf poreless face primer and I do like the consistency of it you only need one pump one pump might even be too much like half a pump and I just really put this in my t-zone in the areas where my porch where my pores are a little bit more enlarged and um, it does smooth out fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores I would say that it fills in fine lines but I don't know if it minimizes the appearance of pores I just feels like maybe it um, once you put it on and it fills inside of your pores it'll make it easier for your makeup to go on smoothly but I'm not sure about shrinking pores or anything like that so it, it works for what it's going to work for. It was only 3 bucks, so I like it. And I'll also leave the prices of these products below because I know that I'm not including the prices in everything. But, y'all, I don't spend no, any more than $10 on these products. So, I'll leave it down below for my budget for the girls who want to know the prices. Um, I also got this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with Aloe, Green Tea, Cucumber, Vitamins A, C, and E. And I have been using this to set my makeup and to dampen my beauty blender. And I will say that I really do like it. Um, it leaves my face matte. I can spray on like five or seven pumps and I just fan it off, you know, to cool it down a little bit because I am oily and I don't want it to take too long to dry or whatever and then make my face all wet. It will help your makeup last all day. Um, and I usually don't wear it all day, all night, go to a club and all that, but... I don't like lighting throughout the day, so I do like to pack this stuff on when I can um, so that I don't have to worry about anything. And it doesn't make my makeup crease, it doesn't make it move, and I just love this stuff. And I think this was 2 or $3 too from Walmart. Um, I also got some blushes from Walmart and Walgreens. I can't remember where I got either one from, but um, I got two brushes from Milani. Two blushes from Milani. The first one is Coralina. And it's like a mineralized, I don't want to say mineralized blush, a baked powder blush. That's what it is. And the Glam Twins recommended this powder. And I also got the baked powder blush in Berry Amour. And this is just like a very neutral soft, soft pink with a little bit of glitter and like brown undertones. And it's like when I just want to do like a no makeup makeup look, I would just wear this to give some color to my face, but not really. Um, the Coralina is more of like a coral color, so that will give you a little bit more color and more shine. Lately, I haven't really been wearing blushes, only highlight and my contour powder. Just because I just don't want to go through all that, but when I do want to be snatched and beat up, or whatever, slayed, laid to the gods, I will put on this Artisan Color Baked Bronzer from Black Radiant in the color Blackberry. And Thomas Adriana here on YouTube told me about this and said that this is similar to the Graftobian powder. And I think so. I mean, from what I've been seeing online and then when she did her comparison on her YouTube channel video, um, I really like this stuff. It gives me a little bit of shine and depth. More depth than a contour powder, so I would put this on top of my contour powder. I wouldn't just wear this alone because it is a little shimmery, so you want to kind of have a you want to kind of have like a base color or whatever when you're wearing this. But I do like it, and this was about five dollars as well. Um, I got some samples from Sephora, and I got some. LA Girl Pro Concealer HD Concealers from my Beauty Supply Store. So let me talk about the Pro Concealers first. I got the color Dark Cocoa, and this is for my contour when I'm trying to be like extra beat. I'll do a cream contour and then I'll go over it with my Ebony from Black Radiance. I also got the color Cool Tan. I usually get Fawn, and I do like Fawn, but a lot of people have been telling me that if you want the ex go the extra mile with your under eye highlight, then add Cool Tan and mix it with Fawn, and I'm almost running out of Fawn, so 
I have been mixing it and I feel like cool tan is a little light for me but um, it does give me the extra feel that I like so I'm still on the edge about cool tan but I couldn't find fawn in the beauty supply store so I just picked up cool tan to try it and hopefully they'll restock on fawn um, I also got the color toast and toast used to be my skin color so I could just cover up any marks without having to color correct or anything like that but I think that either my dark marks have gotten darker my skin tone is changing or the formula in toast has changed I've been scared to use it, so I'm just going to use my old toast until that completely runs out and then I'll open this one and let y'all know if it's the same but it doesn't look the same to me okay I'm going to get started on what I got from Sephora I got little I got first of all I got a whole bunch of samples so I'm not going in or anything at Sephora but I did get this perfume and it's like a vanilla apricot perfume and I really like it yeah I ordered another sample kit the Prada candy sample kit because I tried this in JCPenney's and I really like the smell but I wasn't too sure if I wanted to commit and get in the whole perfume so I did get the Prada Candy, the Prada Candy Floral, and the Prada Candy Lue, 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 whatever. So I really only like the Prada Candy, the Floral, and the other one is whatever. But I do like to mix it with the Vanilla Apricot and like layer it. It gives you more of an everyday smell because the Prada Candy can be a little sophisticated and sexy if you're just you know going out and about or whatever so I do like to mix those together and I will be buying the big bottle of this vanilla apricot because I do like it more than the Prada candy I think that I will keep just buying the Prada candy or just get it through Scentbird or whatever um, because I only need a spray or two to get that layering effect and these were free with my purchase they also sent me Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the colors light, medium, and dark golden. I do plan on trying the dark golden and the medium under my eyes. Um, I'll probably mix the light and medium together, honestly, and just do the dark golden like around, you know, my perimeter. Um, and just do like a look with this to kind of see if I like it. But I'm obsessed with YouTube and I was watching somebody and they tried this foundation and I don't think they said it was good for oily skin. I'll try it out and let you guys know. Um, but just so you know, I'm not going to be going out and buying these high-end makeup foundations or whatever. I do want to try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation or whatever it's called, Ultra Matte, whatever. But that'll be in the future. So my main purchase from Sephora was the Glam Glow Youth Mud Single Exfoliate Treatment. And it is... Well, I took the packaging off, but... It smells kind of weird to me. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this, like the Glam Twins and Jayla Corian. And I just wanted to try it because I've been using the Queen Helene's mask on my skin. And I'm almost out, so I wanted to try a high-end mask because I have been having breakouts lately. Um, but I can't remember if it was the green one or the black one that the Glam Twins was saying that brings out your impurities and everything. So... Yeah, I'm going to try it, y'all. I'm just really not into high-end. Maybe once I try high-end and everything, I'll get used to it. But I'm just going to be doing the sample game right now because I am budget-friendly. I'm in the process of moving back across the country. And I'm trying to save money as much as I can but still provide you guys with a lot of great content and videos. I know I keep looking down in this video, guys. I'm so sorry. But I'm just looking at all these products that I bought. And I'm just so proud of myself of building my makeup collection and everything. And now I have to clean all this stuff up because now I've made a mess trying to film this video. So, thanks you guys so much for watching. And let me know if you like this video. If you want to get a tutorial on this makeup look. I know it's not all that or whatever. I just wanted to come to you guys looking fresh and upbeat because last video I didn't have on any makeup but lipstick. Alright, thanks guys.